Well, I did say that I was so excited for the opening of Peas Macarons that I even had an outfit picked out for this very moment. Well, ta-da! Yes, I'm going to keep this pose forever. I'm not going to keep this pose forever, but yes, this is my outfit. I figured that, you know, with today being the grand opening of Peas Macarons, the very right first day, to, yeah, today's actually the first day of summer too. To the first, so the opening of these macarons, today being the first day of summer, the fact that we're still in Pride Month, I think it's sort of, that's the sort of rainbow pride motif. Not to mention, the colors of this outfit actually coincide with the decor and the, uh, and the sign of these macarons. So here we have, got some pink, some teal, a little, a little purple, some red in there. So, yeah, this is the perfect outfit for, for these macarons, for going to the opening, which, hold on a moment. I'd rather not stand forever. Plus, it's never a Saturday video, it's never a good Saturday video without this little guy by my side. Now then, where was I? Oh yes. So, with the opening of Peas Macarons happening in, at the time of this recording, just over two and a half hours from now, I wanted to ask my, I wanted to dedicate this video to ask, to answering the question, what is it about Peas Macarons that makes it so great? Well, really the first question you should be asking is why would I even dedicate a video, a video to this at all? You already talked about Peas Macarons a lot. I have. But, if you remember a while ago when I did this, my thoughts on the Sauce Boss, I mentioned how I had never seen any sort of like restaurant gain some sort of, you know, following in such a short amount of time as it did. Since like, Dippity Doodah was back in the beginning of the last decade, practically. And while that did happen to Dippity Doodahs as well, Technically, Peas Macarons falls underneath that category of, again, you know, gaining, garnering such a following that, you know, it was just such a, 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 a yeah. it was a fast following in a very short amount of time, which is already pretty, is already impressive. So, I figure, since I didn't mention it then, and there's actually gonna be a couple, you're gonna, you're gonna hear me mention the soft spots maybe a couple more times this video, but there'll be a reason for it, don't worry. When I did the soft spots video, I could have mentioned that Peas Macarons also garnered a call, a, not a call following, but a following in a rather short amount of time. But I guess what made me forget was the fact that Peas Macarons has been around for quite a while. By my knowledge, I'd say around a year and a half, two years maybe. But um, considering that I'm trying to answer the question, what makes Peas and Macarons so great? I thought about it, and I thought about it, and I thought about it some more. And I feel it's a combination of several things. The first thing being the story. Well, I don't know. We, Actually, uh, the owner of Peas Macarons posted her story on Facebook, and I'm not going to go into every, every, every detail, so I'll just break it down into bare bones. She, at one point, lived in New York City. She would pass by a place that served uh, macarons. She would get the uh, vanilla bean and pistachio macarons every time she went, and she also tried others, obviously. And then when she moved to the good city of Watkins Glen, New York, you know, uh, she tried searching high and low for anywhere that that could possibly make macarons, and she was able to find one place in Ithaca, New York. Well, eventually that place shut down. And so rather than, you know, simply leaving that void unfilled, let's say, she's like, you know what? I'll make it myself. So <laughs> I don't know if that's exactly like, you know what, I'm going to make them myself. No, oh, actually, I'm, I'm telling you, it is probably what she at least thought, but you know, it's, you get the idea. So, 
she would then show, so she then made them for her friends and family, and they were a big hit. It was then her loving and supportive husband, who I actually played football with at Horseheads, suggested that maybe she could sell them. You know, make a business out of them, perhaps. I mean, she was at the time, and at the time, she was raising two kids and finishing school. And she's like, you know what? I'm going to put on my bootstraps, I'm going to get it done. And, yeah, she got it done. Because she would, like, deliver, like, all over the place to people who wanted it. You know, she'd be, like, storefronts, farmers markets. I mean... She was, unfortunately, because I'm, I always find myself in corny a lot, like, I didn't really, seriously, when I mentioned way back when I had Peas Macarons for the first time, how Peas Macarons always eluded me, I wasn't kidding, because I don't think anyone ever really asked for her to come all the way to corny. I mean, I'm sure she probably did, I just don't really think anyone I, I didn't really think she, she did, but I don't know. But the point is, like, actually that does lead into the second part that makes Peace Macaron so great, which I'll get into one moment. And Darn was like, so yeah, she garnered, you know, she made macarons for everyone to like, and eventually she got into wanting to make a storefront, which is opening today. Which, it would have opened in early April, but you know, you don't even need to go into what happened. Anyway, so that leads into the second thing that makes these macarons so great, and that is the location. It used to be that I, I mean, I just said she would deliver, like, all over Horse Ads, Elmira, Watkins Glen, all those places. And, you know, you'd have to, like, call, order, you know, order ahead, stuff like that, and, you know, they were so good, of course, she ran, the, they ran out, like, Almost like that, practically, right? Well, now there's actually a place where you can go and get them, and that is awesome. And it's actually at a place called the Old Ithaca Road, which is a little bit off the beaten path if you're like an outsider. But for someone like, but you know, for someone who actually lives in this area, me for instance, I actually sort of know that. Peas Macaron's location is actually very, very, very advantageous. Here's how. See, the area of Horseheads is actually a relative treasure trove of a lot of stuff to do and buy. And Peas Macaron's may very well be at the very center of it all. Like, there's a, there's a do-it center, you know, for like hardware and, and supplies. You know, after that, here's up Peas Macaron's. Or, you know, the, the, the horse high schools nearby as well. You know, after school, students can get macarons then. I'm sure, they, I'm sure it's not with the fly. So yeah, students can get peas and macarons after school. And don't even get me started on all the restaurants that are around. I mean, you have the diner, salsas, on roll. This, I mentioned the sauce boss earlier, even though it's not technically near Hanover Square which is next to Olympic Road, but, you know, the sauce boss isn't far away either. So, you could theoretically get yourself, you know, a relatively heavy lunch from, you know, Tonino's, or a heavy sub from Honor Roll, and, but you want dessert that's nice and light? I think macarons are pretty light, that would, I think that would probably, that would probably work, as well. Or, yeah, so, it totally works in that regard. It's, and, or you know what, it's right next to a, a beauty salon, so after you get your hair done, treat yourself to a macaron. I think I made that rhyme somehow, I don't know. But yeah, that's awesome too. So, its location is very, very, very advantageous. And speaking of location, that gets into, you know, the third thing that makes these macarons so great. That is the product itself. Now, I mentioned in the story aspect that, you know, the owner of Peas Macarons searched high and low to find a place that has macarons. That's not hyperbole either. Macarons are very hard to find, but they're even harder to make. That's why the next thing is the product itself. Macarons are very hard to make. They are. 
Like, I, I've seen, like, videos, and, like, okay, I'm not doing that. I mean, technically, no, no, I, I cannot do that, because, like, it, it's so delicate and fragile, you know, I can't, and I have gigantic man hands, I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> but, yes, the, um, they're hard to make, and so, you know, it's a difficult product to come by. She, the owner of these macarons, has whether realize whether she's realized or not, she's effectively cornered the market for um for uh, you know selling a product that not a lot of people see or buy, and that's awesome. Although speaking of products, that's another that's going to do another thing, and the uh, and that's that's the fourth thing, and here's the fourth thing that makes these macarons so great: the support. Outside of selling macarons, and there's also going to be uh, coffee there, sold by her husband, who I mentioned earlier that I played football with, and horse heads, that uh, they're actually going, for one to two weeks, they're going to feature, you know, a local bakery, or a baker that sells another product that they're going to sell. So, they're actually helping out, you know, small business around the community, thus helping support local businesses, local small businesses. That's really cool. You know, that's... That's actually really nice, actually. And with all that, it gets into the final thing that makes Peace Macarons as great as it is, and that's the person. And while I met her before, you know, after reading her story and following this sort of, this sort of like incline of, is that incline? Yeah, following what's been going on, since like the time she started making macarons, to delivering them, selling them, to where we are right now. And keep in mind, at the time when she started, like I said earlier, she was raising, well, she is raising, she is raising two kids and she was finishing school. I mean, and she's had the support of her family and friends and loved ones. I mean, come on, if that's not inspiring, I don't know what is. So, yeah, I absolutely need to give a shout out to just the overall owner of Peace Macarons herself because she's put a lot of work, a lot of effort, you know, of hard work, a lot of effort, you know, with the support of her family and friends, you know, she's got this. In case you are watching, you know, you totally got this. I am... Most definitely rooting for you. In fact, I'm going to be, I mean, in fact, I will make this prediction right here now. If it dates this video, I don't care. These macarons is going to be big. It could quite possibly be the next really great big thing to happen to the entire area. In fact, I said that, um, you know, I'm going to the uh, grand opening after this video, I'm not kidding. I have everything packed in my car to immediately head up to Keep the Lake after, like, I'm done with everything. I mean, I have an errand or two to run, but it's just right, it's just almost 20 of 8 o'clock in the morning. I get the feeling that even if I were to leave now, get all the possible quick errands I need to get done, and arrive over an hour early, I am almost positive there's gonna be a line out the door. I mean, a part of me, I mean, here's the thing, I hope I'm right about that just because, hey, you know, that's awesome, it means that I was right, it's gonna be big. At the same time, though, I'm like, I wanna be the first one to get a macaron. Especially when I already know what I wanna order. Let's just say, uh, if you paid attention at all during this video, then you know exactly what my order is going to be. Look back to the story part. And, um, yeah, I think this is going to be, you know, really good, really good weekend overall, starting off with peas and macarons. Again, today is also the first day of summer, you know, we're, I mean, Pride Month is definitely coming to an end, but, you know, this outfit is what I like to wear in support of it. I mean, I'm straight, but, you know, I do support the community. So... That's really cool. And Father's Day this weekend, so hey, you know what? That's another thing about Peace Macron. Another great thing about Peace Macron's opening up this weekend is that with Father's Day weekend coming up, maybe you want to get a gift for Father for Father's Day. Hmm? That's a good idea, huh? So yeah, 
This weekend really could be, you know what? I really think this weekend is what is like the legitimate turning point of 2020. I feel in my heart of hearts like this is when things really will officially start getting better. Because they were, but now like the whole getting better aspect is gonna be kicked right into overdrive. And I think it's gonna start with this. I really think it's gonna start with this. So one final time to the good people over Peas Macrons, I will see you in a couple of hours with metaphorical bells on my toes and I will see you there. So to the good people over at Peas Macarons, I'm very humbled I was able to talk about your business in a way that I hope supports you. And well, I'm, I'm giving you support in any way, shape or form. I hope that today goes well for all of you and I hope all of you have a wonderful day as well. Who is not affiliated with Peas Macarons, but I still hope you have a wonderful day. And, you know, if any of you guys still ever want to talk or chat, you know, I'm definitely going to listen to whatever you have to say. And I'm always going to have your back. Take care and make good choices. And, um, hold on a second. Hold on. To the good people over at Peace Macarons, should you ever need a mascot, and this is why I brought the sunglasses with me. You can call me the Mac Daddy. I'm keeping this post so someone pauses the camera and gets a good drawing of it. So I don't have to do a selfie. Okay, bye-bye.